right, so the Perform VK is actually an excellent interfacing device. You can use it in a live setting if you have a DAW running off of your computer. You can send it to here. It will basically communicate that signal to the sound guy at front of house. So there's four input channels. Stereo uh, goes to channel one and two, so you can have a backing track uh, left, in, left in, in channel one and right in channel two, and that gets sent to here if you want to sing along to a backing track. Channel three is a dry vocal in, and channel four is using uh, the chord information for natural play to do your harmonies. So basically, backing track, pretty self-explanatory, singing along. Um, the dry vocal in gets overridden if you have a microphone plugged into this. The harmonies with natural play, it's intended that if you don't want to use whatever it is you're playing to trigger the harmonies, you can use your backing track and it can be a silent track. So it can be card, uh, guitar notes that your chords that you're playing along with or uh, whatever it is, you can have it in channel four, send it to here and it won't get sent to the PA. So it's like a silent natural play backing track. So as an output, if you want to do any recording with the Perform VK, if you want to perform your um, live performances, or sorry, record your live performances, you can totally do that as well. This is all through the USB. So when it goes to your DAW, I've got GarageBand triggered here. Um, it's stereo. So first two channels, channel one and two, are your left and right overall mix. That includes your wet vocal, your affected vocal, um, your keyboard that you're sending into the Perform VK, and that comes out um, in this first bar here. So I've got channels one and two into one track, and that's gonna record stereo. Our second track um, is, our, this third one here, is dry vocal out. So it takes the dry vocal that you're recording into here, and it's sending it um, to your DAW. So if you listen back and you decide that you didn't actually like the wet vocal that you were using, you can um, mix in more dry vocal to kind of counterbalance that. And the last, uh, the next one is um, stereo instrument left and right. So it's two channels. So that's, we're at one, two, uh, three, four. This is five and six uh, stereo instrument left and right recorded here. And seven and eight are your left and right harmonies. So stereo harmonies and those all recorded there. So you've got four multi-tracks. Technically it's eight, but it looks like four here um, that you can do to adjust and you can mix, mix your live performances later and use great content for your socials if you wanna do. And um, that's how you do that, super easy. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, like the video if you did and questions in the comments below, I'll do my best to answer those. and. Um, if you liked what you saw, also don't forget, subscribe to our channel. Thanks.